what is happening guys, we're Craig and Amy and you are watching King of Earth. And this week we are deep in the Sahara Desert. After slowly making our way from the mountains, we had driven over 600 kilometers to Mazuga. Wow! En route, we saw some incredible sights, drove some exceptional roads, and even visited a film set. Yeah! Good. Very good. We had a few smells and noises from custard. Custard. But we made it in one piece, just in time to celebrate Craig's birthday. This is just unbelievable. This week we explore everything the Sahara has to offer. Shower in the desert, mate. Craig, I've just flushed the toilet in the tent. We meet the local nomads of the desert. Craig doesn't lift a finger. <laughs> and I surprise Craig with an extra special birthday surprise. This is definitely a birthday I won't forget. So click subscribe to follow our Moroccan adventures. Hit the thumbs up and follow along on Instagram for live updates. I don't know if you can hear there, I've made him turn up the Christmas music so he can't hear what I'm saying, but welcome to the Sahara Desert. If you can't tell, I'm extremely excited to be here. This is like one of my bucket list takeoffs, and I just can't believe that we've got custard. Well, we've got our feet in the desert. We've got it in the sands. So in a few days, it's Craig's birthday. And what a place to spend it. So it's my duty as birthday planner to make sure he has the best day ever. All right, you got the address? Yeah, you just gave it to me. Okay, <laughs> let's go and see a man about a dog. You're not gonna dog, gonna dog for a birthday, what? It is a secret, so we're not gonna tell him until it happens. washing don't look at that look beyond that at the sand dunes just for days and months and years wow yeah. this is so amazing <laughs> so class I've got my guy, this is Yusuf, and Yusuf, he's going to help yeah. me today yeah. um, to get us an activity box. Okay, so. Let's pick it up very It's okay, I will go slow. Um, Are you on in touch? You know, you know birthday? Birthday, yeah. Celebration. Celebration. It's a celebration for Craig. Hi. Yeah. Hello, do you speak English? No, no, no. Little bit? Yeah. You know um, birthday? Photo? No, no. You oh, yeah, Muhammad. This could be oh, difficult. <laughs> After a little bit of lost in translation, I finally found the right guy with the right information. You're excited about your birthday? I am, yeah, but it doesn't seem like it's going very well. Well, don't worry about that. I got you. I got you. I'll sort it. God knows what we're going to end up doing. <laughs> Whilst Amy's trying to plan my birthday, I'm planning dinner for tonight. Good lad. I've wanted to buy a tagine for such a long time. And now that we're out in the desert, I figured this would be the perfect place to cook everyone in a tagine tonight. There's firewood at the campsite, so we get a fire going. Oh, nice. We'll lay out our new rug. Have the dogs watch, join us. Have the dogs, watch the sunset. <gasps> Might as well be your birthday, love. <laughs> the only reason why I'm coming with him is because I saw this little outfit over there. It was like a little cord, little two-piece. I think I might get it for the desert. For his birthday, I'll dress up for him, you know? I'm a good wifey. So I found a family sized tagine and it's a belter. Just trying to get your man down on his price because he wants a bit too much. So I need coal, spices, some fruit and some veg. Shukran. Thank One, you. Two, three. <laughs> yeah, Evelyn. Whoa. 44 spices in there. Spices. So you, you sort out the prices for the spices um, and in the meantime I'm going to get some inflate huile um, so my bum looks like hers in the next few days. Okay, cellulite cream, we'll take some of that. Some of this, uh, yeah, we'll take some of that as well. So some of this ostrich ointment. I have no idea what that's for, but I don't want to ask because Craig keeps telling me off. 
Are you three? Do we know to now? Tell him to charge us a million pounds. And the best part about the shop is this little fella. We don't know what it is. It's good for your stomach. It smells like Christmas pudding. It's just like a spicy jam. Spicy jam. Wash it down. Oh, Wash it down. You want the rest? Yes, yes, yes. No, it's okay. Sh shaving his skin. That's the one you have here. Yeah, Corona what? This rose one side is very good for night. He's sick of the neck now, he's got it. Yes, yes. Yes, pop it on. How's that? Ah, it burns! <laughs> oh, it smells lovely. It smells a little bit like my nan, but it's lovely. <laughs> yeah, you go. <laughs> <laughs> what are the prices for the spices? He's a cheeky boy. Oh, I like bartering with him because it's funny. Yeah, as long as he's laughing as well. <laughs> you say a low price and he just starts smiling, it's so funny. <laughs> oh my goodness. So this is Mohammed's level tagine. So if I don't get that tonight, you're banned from cooking. This one? It's for lips, yes. Just the, the colour? Yes. Ah, I think it would look good on you. <laughs> no? <laughs> a red lip today, lads. Yeah, I like it. Looks yes. good. Okay, so we got more than what we needed, but we got the tagine pot, and we've got the, the stand for it. We got a little scarf for myself, um, and some vegetables to put in the tagine, and lots of coals. So we'll just make our way back to our campsite now, have a little lunch, and then Craig's gonna spoil us all for dinner. Are you okay? I'm all right, yeah, I'm you, you, sweating a little bit, but. You, you need to calm down a bit. I thought you were gonna hit me a minute ago. <laughs> It's a lot of pressure cooking a tagine. Oh my god. Levels, mate. I'm getting like coriander mostly, cumin, a bit of paprika, garlic, you know, things were like you, that. Were you there when I bought the spices? No, no. I'm really excited about this, Craig. James has stoked the fire outside. Hopefully it's a good one, because that's the most important part. It's going to take about an hour to cook this, though, so hopefully we'll be eating it as the sun sets. Okay, um, <laughs> now, we wait. Inshallah, in one hour we have good tagine. <laughs> We're off to get some wood. <laughs> Driving back, we just never get bored of this view. Look how stunning that is. Big fat moon, Sahara Desert, and a tagine for the win. Look at, look at it, it's pitch black, Craig. Will you hurry up? <laughs> you started this right, in the I'm middle of the day. I'm gonna check the tagine to see if it's cooked. Check the tagine. Oh wow, it's cooked. Oh, it's nearly midnight, bro, I'm starving. Can you just have a smell of that though? I know, it actually smells incredible. <laughs> We're all ready for some, even this little one here. I've got my little blanket I don't know on. what the best thing is to do because I've got nothing to put on the table, so maybe we just scoop it out and into bowls? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. yeah. Sounds, Sounds like a plan. <laughs> oh, it looks so good! <laughs> oh, I really hope this tastes good. Thank you guys so much. No problem at all. Oh, yeah. Lovely. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Like the great life. <laughs> 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 Good morning, chap. Oh my God. Look at the actual state of this place. So y'all gonna need to get your bum up so you can tidy this place. Uh, <laughs> you can tidy it. Um, so I'd just like to let you know that you do have to get up and you do have to pack a bag because we're going somewhere. Today. Oh, really? Yes. Where are we going? I'm not gonna tell you, it's a little surprise, but pack a little overnight bag. Are we not taking the bus? No. Oh, okay. Yeah. How are we getting there? No more questions. Get your bag ready. You ready? Yeah. So we've ordered a taxi, but I think it's a bit big. <laughs> and the, the drivers look a bit weird, but... <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, we're actually just going to pop into town because there's a few outfits I wanted to get to impress Greg for his birthday. So that's what we're going to do now. <laughs>
wife will have that one and that one there. So do your worst, guys. Good price. Good price. Give him a hug. <laughs> Make him feel like part of the family. I turned that to my phone. <laughs> 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 what happened? <laughs> what happened, Craig? Hey, when, <laughs> when? I don't have a price for a wife. <laughs> no priceless. Price. I am priceless, thank money you. Money, come on. Right, money we'll house, you money, cars. <laughs> I'll right, give you 20 for the Jalaba. Oh. <laughs> I'll give you 50, 50 for this outfit and 160 for this. How much is that? 300. 300. One of them. And then if it rains. Do you have one of those, please, drive? If it rains, one of them. That's definitely not waterproof. <laughs> Okay, okay. Thank you guys. And um, we'll look after the custard. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for the lift. Yes. You're welcome. See you later. Bye. 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 No idea what we're doing. Hello. Are you excited though? Yeah. All right, Mohammed's picked us up and it's four by four. This is gonna take us across the Sahara Desert. Craig, you excited? Can't wait, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, did you eat your head? Yeah. <laughs> Every time, Craig. You forget oh. how lengthy you are. I know. To the Sahara, please drive. So we've got to drive 30 minutes into the Sahara Desert. I've got no idea where we're going. I think I've got an idea, but I don't know what we're doing. I'm buzzing already. That was so sick driving around here. Just giant sand dunes and they're just like this warm red colour. Amazing man, so good. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Real nervous laugh. <laughs> wow, oh my goodness. Look at it, Craig. It's so good. It's so incredible. It's incredible how he knows the way. There's no road signs. No, there's there's no, no actual roads either. <laughs> As we arrived at our Sahara Desert camp, it finally clicked for Craig where we were spending the night. And Craig, one of the best things I didn't say is that this tent is heated. Ah, <laughs> get in! <laughs> Whoa, Whoa, look at this, look at this place! So awesome! Amazing, they've all got names. Oh, look, we're in the camel. I am Burper Man. Yep. <laughs> show me your house. King in the Cribs. Let me show you around. <laughs> Watch your head on the way in. Okay. So this is where we're staying tonight. Amazing. It's so cozy. Well, we've a got an extra bed. We Amy's, could have brought the cat. Amy's got her own bed in the corner. Oh. Yeah. Radiator. Yeah. Which she said will go all night and keep the place warm. He said it might be too hot, actually, didn't he? It's going to be cozier than custard, because that heating's bust. And then in here, we've got an ensuite bathroom. Proper so we've got a toilet with a flush, sink, hot water. Got a shower, mate. Shower in the desert. <laughs> I think the best part is outside though. Look no, at this. No, the best part is the dress up that they gave us. <laughs> Look at him, he's loving it. <laughs> Look at this thing. So good, Craig. We're literally the only people here. I so know. There's no tourists. No tourists. Um, Morocco's lockdown has extended again. He loves it. So you just booked this to a fella? Mm-hmm. And you haven't paid him yet? I haven't even met him yet. <laughs> What do you mean? I don't know. I don't know who he is, but we're here, so he he he's not made up. I don't understand this transaction. Don't worry about it, Craig. Just happy birthday, love. Jeez. For tomorrow. For tomorrow. Fantastic. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So cozy in here now. The heating's come on, and it just feels so nice. But the whole floor is carpeted as well. This is a far cry from Custard the bus. Sorry, Custard. <laughs> Literally flushes Craig. I've just flushed the toilet in a tent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starving, Craig. And I was just saying, like, why do I look like LL Cool J? And like all the girls that do this, they look like really, you know, Saharian. Mama said, knock you out. I'm going to knock you out. Well, it's, it's your 24 day. hours of... Look at that, look at him. Oh, nice. Look at that, look at him. Bismillah. Which means what? Which means tuck in, Trev. 
No, it doesn't. It means like you say like to God first before you eat. Is it good? That soup, mate. That soup. You don't even like soup, so it must be good. This one. You're not going to use a teaspoon, are you, you lemon? L L called J is harder than. Do you not like the curry sauce you get? It's chippy in the UK. This is like a lessened version of that, but it tastes like the Irish chip shop curry sauce. Just having the chippy tea in the desert, like. <laughs> so we've got olives and we've got like um. Oranges. It's kind of like guacamole without the avocado. Like a salsa. Like a salsa. Yeah. <laughs> we took the plate off. There's a plate underneath, and there's a plate under that one. We were like, well, this is a three-course dinner. We didn't know it would be so fancy. And he's like, yeah, and then at the end you get fruits. And we were like, fruits. Now, I knew what he meant exactly, because my broken English is like better than my English. So, fruits for dessert. Help yourself, Craig. Have a bit of that. A bit of that. <laughs> oh, baby. Uh, excuse me, it's my birthday. So, do you want to, you want to, you want me to serve you for prin princess? <laughs> And the rest for me. And to finish. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, it's like taking your bra off at the end of the day. <laughs>
Craig tried the shower this morning and he was like, yeah, you were turning the tap the wrong way um, to the cold. So that's, uh, that's probably true. So I'm gonna have another shower this morning and I'm gonna turn the tap the right way. Having a boiling hot shower in the desert, mate. Oh, we're steaming up. <laughs> you ain't ready. You ain't ready. You ain't ready. Look at you. <laughs> like an angel. I feel like a, a Sahara Sultana. <laughs> you look like one, babe. Yeah. Well, I thought, you know, I didn't get you a present, Craig, because the Moroccan I'm borders. <laughs> Moroccan borders are closed and nobody mm -hmm. ships anything in and excuses excuses I didn't think there was anything in Morocco that you wanted only so, had 12 um, months to plan so I am your present and uh, I thought a fun outfit for a fun day look lush babes thank you you are literally <laughs> the worst person ever for giving away surprises <laughs> Oh dear. So Chloe and James have just turned up. I said, shall I go say hello and film it? And Amy was like, oh, they're probably in their tent by now. And I was like, oh, they're staying. She was like, oh no. I terrible. Do, I... One year, Amy was like, oh yeah, so next week we're going to Paris for your birthday. And I was like, what? It was supposed to be a surprise. So I am bad. rubbish. I'm really and bad. And I literally was like, are we going quad biking? She's like, shut up, you ruined it. Happy birthday. Thanks, mate. You okay? Yeah, good. How are you? Yeah, all good. Good. You got your outfit. Thanks, <laughs> Okay, so the guys have just got here. They found their little outfits in the corner as well. So we've all decided to go full on Moroccan. And we're all gonna dress in traditional attire for the quad biking. Quick, I can hear something. Yeah, they're here. Quads are here. Yes, <laughs> can't wait to do this. I'm so buzzing, man. After some brief safety measures and a quick tour on how it works, we were off and it was the most jaw-dropping scenery we'd ever seen. <laughs> Not being funny, but it's probably the best one of the best places I've ever been on the planet. Yeah. <laughs> I got off it and I couldn't walk. <laughs> but it was fantastic, like. So good, man. You just have to pinch yourself sometimes and think, look what we're doing and look where we are. It's just so vast, they're so vast. Like the dunes are humongous. There's like millions and millions of tons of sand here. Mm. I feel like I'm still shaking like when you just got off a roller coaster and you're like, it's oh. like adrenaline. Yeah. And I think when you get to a scary bit, you're meant to go really fast. Yes. But then I keep like, You're oh, supposed to give it. it. You're supposed yeah. to send it. And then I just stop. But we just like, start <laughs> spinning. And the person behind gets a mouthful of sand. <laughs> The guys have taken us to a nomads sort of village they're sort of dotted around the place and they build up their houses stay here i think he said well the weather's good and then when the weather turns they move on which is really cool but they've invited us in for tea which i'm really excited about and all the kids are so cute so yeah let's get some tea we climbed into this tent for some much needed shade and we sat and had some couscous and a mint tea we chatted with our guide who had actually grown up in the desert as a nomad until he was seven years old. Lovely bunch, the nomads. Did you have the best time of your life, Lev? Oh, it was so good. Yeah. I just, it's hard to comprehend. I feel like this is something you have to come and do. 100%. But like looking around, it's just like perfect natural architecture. It's like stunning swirls that go round, just lines that, oh, it's just amazing. It's it was so much fun. So now, if the day isn't going to get any better, we're about to watch a traditional Berber pizza being made with a proper Berber oven and a vegan. Ali, our chef, prepared the dough and veg filling and wrapped it up into a lovely neat bundle. He prepared the fire in the sand and popped the pizza straight onto it. He covered it with a hot plate and some more sand from the desert. 
After 20 odd minutes, he took it out and scraped off the burnt bits with a knife and gave a little wipe of his scarf. And we decided to have lunch in this lovely spot, waited on hand and foot by Hassan. Oh, Craig, this is a birthday. Oh, we got chips. Ones as well. We got chips, we got camels, <laughs> we got everything. Yeah, we got everything. That looks oh, insane. Wow. wow. You Cheers, Trev. Birthday boy first. Best bit. So they did say they weren't shy about it. They were like, there's going to be sand in your pizza, but that's the burp away. Yeah. So let's tuck in. Bit, but, of, bit of tomato sauce. But how many people can say they, they've eaten the Sahara Desert, yeah. Craig? The Sahara is part of me after this <laughs> bite. <laughs> really good. It almost tastes a bit like curry. Yeah, good curry. Say. Like a mm. curry pizza. Mm -hmm. Curry, curry calzone. Definitely sand in there. <laughs> Good for your digestive system though, like a cement mixer, you know? Yeah, yeah. Come on, girl. That's it. That's it. That's it. You need Ben. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to go meet the dromedaries, if they're actually called, because they've only got one hump. They're not camels. I pressed up for them, <laughs> so I hope they appreciate it. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> Hello, hi there, fella. Where you going? Where you going? Hello. Oh, you're yeah. so pretty. They got the biggest eyelashes ever, Craig. Yeah. Boy, 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 girl. She's got a wart. Look how dusty he is. <laughs> I've <laughs> come to the top of the dunes to watch the sunset. There's a massive sand dune, kind of not blocking it, but it's going to go behind there. But it just looks so nice. Captain B's late as always. Come on, you're going to miss it. I think, Trev. I'm okay. I'm actually fine. What you got there? So I, I don't know why I've saved this one in particular, but it's been in the bus for a while. This is a 19-year-old Jura whiskey. Oh. So we're gonna have a little birthday drop. Do you want to join me, mate? Got two yeah, glasses here. No, no, it's enough for two. Come on. Go on, man. I'm not gonna drink alone. Come on, mate. You have the good one. Mine's got the old tea glass. Cheers, Happy birthday. Thanks, mate. Oh, look, you enjoying a little whiskey on your 42nd birthday. <laughs> <laughs> You are wise beyond your years, Craig. <laughs> I'll take that. As the night drew cold, we wrapped up warm and drank some hot mint tea while we waited for our dinner outside our tents. Craig's birthday surprises weren't over yet. That's the best full name, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so they were the only candles we had that should be a four. But yeah. Tell me I can eat this. Of course you can, Craig. It's vegan. Shut up. Honestly, guys. Is it actually? Yeah, babe. What? Wow. Where did you get this from? They made it special. No way. Yeah, they did. That's so good, man. <laughs> no wonder you weren't eating that. Happy birthday, babe. <laughs> of course babe. I was waiting for cake. <laughs> that is the best birthday cake ever. It says Craig Holmes on it. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes amazing. Tastes like sherbet. Does it? It's very lucky. <laughs> Uh, here you go, napkin. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, is it? It's like a wafer. It's like a biscuit cake. Oh, oh okay. Oh, Are you okay, Clo? <laughs> <laughs> Are you just laughing at the way they said cake? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we ended the night with some traditional music put on especially for our Craig, and we had a little dance around the fire. It was magic. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs>
guys, that is it for this week's video. That was one of the best birthdays of all time. Thanks, babes. Nah, you're very welcome. I do feel like it is one, I don't say this often, but one of my favorite vlogs that we have made. Yeah, it was super fun. So much fun. So yeah, we just want to say thank you all so much for the support this year. It's been a wild ride for us. There's been so many highs, so many lows. Um, but you've all been there for the whole thing, so thanks for joining us. Yeah, to everybody that's bought merch whenever, not even just for Christmas, like we love you. Thank you so much for all the support, all the lovely comments, and just we just feel so strong. We're such a great audience behind us, don't we? Yeah, it's amazing, man. So we found ourselves here in the sunshine in Morocco for Christmas, which is what we wanted. We're in a place called Imswin. Craig's been surfing most of the time and we've just been having a little chill, taking a bit of time off for Christmas and New Year. Yeah, so when we do come back, we're going to take a couple of weeks off um, from posting, but when we do come back, we've got about a month left in Morocco, just over a month, yeah. if they let us back out because yeah. the borders are still closed. Um, and then we need some new cleaner plans. So we have got a few ideas in the pipeline, so stick around for 2022. But yeah, if you guys want to see us go somewhere, if you want to see us take on a certain country. Or a challenge. Yeah, leave it in the comments down below. Who knows, you might end up giving us loads of inspiration and we might end up going there. But always remember guys, have a wicked new year. Make sure you make plans, you do your travel, you save your pennies, you go out, you see the world. And always remember, rule your own world. One, two, three, bye. bye.